Welcome to my tutorial on installing Joomla with Windows 2003 and IIS. About a year ago I needed to do this because I was using ColdFusion on Windows Server and I wanted to embed ColdFusion apps into a Joomla site. When I started out I thought it would be pretty easy but I quickly found that getting Joomla, MySQL, PHP, Windows, and IIS to all play nicely together was going to be a major challenge. The existing tutorials I saw out there were helpful but they were never really complete so I always found myself stuck somewhere. Even now, when I look on the forums, I see many people are having the same problems that I went through, so I decided this would be a great video tutorial. So, here we go. Alright, before I start, it's important to know which versions are used here, since so much can change when new software versions are released. The operating system is Windows 2003 Standard, with Service Pack 2, and all updates as of December 2007. Internet Information Server is installed. The current stable release of PHP is 5.2.5 and MySQL is version 5.0.45. At the time I'm making this video, Joomla 1.5 is in release candidate 4 stage, so I'm installing version 1.0.13. Okay, we're starting out with a pretty basic install of Windows 2003 standard. It's a pretty fresh install, but I do have WinRAR already installed on it, so... We may or may not need that, I don't remember. IAS is pre-installed on this machine, but I'm going to make sure just so that you see what you need to do. So, let's go to Control Panel, Add and Remove Help Programs, and Add Remove Windows Components. Okay, and down here, Application Server. Okay, and then IIS right there and details SMTP, we're going to want that for mail and worldwide web service which has installed so make sure that's done before you go anywhere I'm going to cancel out of this right now okay we're going to make sure it's running but before I do that I want to make sure that I have some things on my desktop that I use quite a bit Okay, so I want to get IIS on the desktop because we're going to be accessing that quite a bit. And I want to get Notepad. And I want to get the command prompt, which I've got right there already. So let's look at IIS. Let's expand it out. And there's my default website. I'm going to go right click and go to properties. Okay. And I see my home directory is cinetpub www root. And my default document is default.htm. And it is currently running. So I'm going to close this out. And I'm going to go to cinetpub www root. I'm going to copy that, make a shortcut to the desktop. So I've got that there. And I'm going to make file. And I'm going to just edit it. This is a test page. Save it and rename it. Default.htm. And yes, I want to change it. Now I'm going to open a web browser. And go to localhost. And there's my test page. Perfect. So now I know that I have IIS running. It's installed properly and I've tested it. So we need to do some downloads. So we're going to start by getting PHP. So we'll open our browser. And go to www.php.net. And when you're seeing this, I don't know, the page may have changed, but generally that's what it is. And I want to download the Windows binary zip package, not the full installer. And the reason I want to do that is because I have more control. The installer sometimes messes up. And I'm going to go and just get it here. 
and I'm going to save it to my desktop. Sometimes when I install with the installers, it just it just doesn't work out right. So this is easier. All right, I'm going to close that. Okay, I'm going to go to my C drive. I'm going to create a folder for PHP 5. I'm going to open that and kind of move that out of the way. And I'm going to zip and select everything and copy it all over. There we go. And I'm going to go to my Windows directory into System32. And I'm going to copy over php5ts.dll. I'm going to go to my Windows directory and copy php.ini recommended. And I'm going to rename that to php.ini. Now we can close these and open up IIS again and right click on websites and go to properties and I go to home directory and down here I'm going to click on configuration and then I'm going to add in here I'm going to browse for PHP 5 isapi.dll. There it is. My extension is .php. And I'm going to leave these as they are. And I'm going to click OK. OK. Next I go to Web Service Extensions. I'm going to right click on that. Add a new Web Service Extension. Here I'm going to type in PHP. And then Add. Browse again. And again, php 5 isappydll that, set it to allowed, and then click OK. So as you can see, PHP is now allowed. I'm going to go back up to Websites, Properties again, and I'm going to go to Documents, and I'm going to add index.php, so IIS will accept that as a default document. And I'll move it to the top since we're installing Joomla. That's going to be our default. Click OK. So everything should be OK now. And I'm going to get this out of the way. And I'm going to go back to our www root. And I'm going to create another file. Alright, this should test PHP. Let's see, it should give us an information page. I'm going to save it. I'm going to rename it to test.php. Yeah. And I'm going to go back up to localhost. And see what we get. Cross our fingers. Yay! PHP has been successfully installed. So we're going to close this. We don't need test.php anymore. And we're going to close this out. And that's that for now. Our next step will be MySQL, which will be in another video.